trade receivables collection period. So in an earlier lecture, we discussed inventory, the days it takes for an inventory to be sold and the number of times it is sold within the year. Okay. Inventories can be sold in two ways for cash. That is payments being received immediately at the point of transfer and on credit where payment is made later than the date that the transfer or exchange of goods were done or the services was rendered okay so when the sale is made on cash where you debit the cash or the bank and you credit the inventory there is no problem we are looking at when the sale is made on credit and receivables come in so receivables are customers who buy goods or patronize services of the business on credit that is to pay later in this lecture we are looking at trade receivables there can be so many receivables we can have staff receivables that take loans from the business to pay later we can have other receivables like when you are expecting some payments from your bankers or from people who you deal with not from the main line of business so you are into sale of cars but you sell your building off to somebody and the person has not paid that is not a trade receivable so a business's money will be tied to the customers for the period that the debt remains unpaid a receivable is a current asset it forms part of the liquidity assessment of a business so once you have the receivable you need to be able to recover the money before you can use it to settle your short-term debt so the trade receivable collection day will inform the business the average days it takes for their receivables to pay up the debt they owe so it also estimates the average period between the time the sale was made and the payment was received from the customer now this is essential to assess the liquidity of the business because so once you have sold your goods or you have rendered services on credit the money that you will be expecting to use to settle your debt is in the hands of a third party you have to collect the money before you can use to settle your debt pay bills or buy materials to produce inventory or to buy the inventory to resell if you are able to convert the receivables within an appreciable period it tells of your ability to settle your short-term debt when it comes through also it helps in planning once you know the length of time or when you are going to receive the money from your receivables it will help you in planning certain expenditures also when you're going into a negotiation with especially a creditor you will know how to negotiate for the period where you come through with the payment lastly it can be used to identify viable customers once you know your acceptable period for your clients to pay or once you have set your receivable collection period any new customer that is coming about who doesn't have the ability to settle the debt within that period will not be brought about unless under special circumstances the formula for trade receivable collection period is the trade receivables divided by revenue times 365 days the trade receivables days ideally the business will also have a set standard it's mostly it is 30 days some 45 days and maximum 60 days so when you make the calculation you compare it to the the period set by the business or you can do so with that of the days set by the industry or your competitors if you do so and you have a higher days it means that the business's credit sales has increased compared to the cash sales so if you compare to prior years let's say 2019 and 2020 if 2020's days are higher than 2019 it means that of the total sales that was achieved in 2020 the portion of credit sales is higher than what we saw in 2019 it can also mean that the business has a poor debt recovery system they are unable to retrieve their debt from their customers. Now, this will indicate that there is a likelihood of doubtful or bad debt if it's taking more than the time envisaged by the business, the time set by the business or the industry to collect your debt. It means that there can be some uncertainty about the collection or payment of the amount. Lastly, it can be a strategy the business has engaged in to win more customers. When you give more credit, it brings in more customers. So we have to look at the board minutes to see whether that is the direction that they want to take. Also, if the days are lower comparatively, it means that the business has a decreased proportion of credit sales to cash sales in the total revenue. So if in 2019, the credit sales was 40%, in 2020, it will reduce to 30% with cash sales amounting to the difference.
it could mean that their debt recovery system is strong. Now, this has the tendency of driving away clients because once you are strict with the collection of your debt, it can push them into the hands of a competitor, especially if you have substitute goods. Let's test understanding. So this information is in relation to GKA Limited for the years ended 31st December 2021 and 2020. So we have the inventories for the period, the trade receivables for the period, the bank and cash, short-term investment, trade payables, short-term borrowing, revenue, and cost of sales. So we have to calculate and analyze the receivable collection day for GKA Limited for the two years. So in solution, we restate the formula. Trade receivables divided by revenue times 365 days. For 2021, the receivable days was 187.5, which was as a result of dividing $3,750 trade receivables by the revenue of 7300 multiplied by 365. For 2020, it was 160 days. It means that it has worsened. It was arrived at by dividing the trade receivables for the period of 2500 by the revenue of 5700 multiplying it by 365 days over the year. If you look at the two, it takes on the average 187.5 days to recover debts or money from receivables in 2021 and 160 in 2020. A careful analysis will show that the receivables in 2021 was 52% of revenue and it was 44% of the total revenue in 2020. It means that the proportion of the receivables have increased in 2021 and that can account for why the days have worsened. Now there's a great cost continue because if a business is taking on the average 160 days and it has worsened to 187 days to retrieve their debt, then there is a serious problem that has to be addressed because bad debt is likely to arise which can lead to insolvency.